What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Motor Nubs. And uh, it has been a little while. Uh, there's kind of an update on the Integra, but that's not this video. I need to go down and actually um, check it out. There was a snafu with the uh, exhaust manifold. We'll talk about that. They kind of made it right, not really. Uh, but anyway, that's not for today. Um, I picked up a Mustang for my wife. Uh, she's been wanting a convertible Mustang for a long time. Uh, we, me and my cousin and some other family went down to Mustang week, which I'm gonna have a, a little video of that, like walking around, checking out some cars and stuff. Um, if you actually look way back in my channel, we went to Mustang week in 2016, but this year was the last official one. So we had to go down again, just to check it out. Um, but ever since then, and also back in the day, my wife's been wanting a, a Mustang. So we flip it around and show you what we got. Now I know a lot of people that watch this channel, uh, existing members aren't gonna be excited about this at all, but this is a 2010 convertible V6 Mustang. It's got an automatic transmission in it, um, and it's basically exactly what my wife wanted. Um, I was trying to find her a GT, get her a little V8 automatic convertible, but the price on those are easily double what these are. Um, I was able to pick this up with everything. I originally got the guy down to $4,000, but there was a language barrier, or at least so it, uh, so I thought. And when I got there, all of a sudden the price became $5,000. Uh, it's got 130,000 miles on it. Everything runs good, and um, I, was, I was happy. The only problem with the car is the uh, convertible top doesn't go back. He doesn't know why. And uh, the paint, it's just dirty. The whole car is dirty and the back tires are dry rotted. Um, so I was feeling still pretty good at, good about it at $5,000. And I figured it's something that we can get and, and kind of clean up a little bit. And then my my wife will be happy. I'm happy because I didn't have to go buy like a fifteen dollars to $20,000 Mustang. And it is what it is. Uh, I am going to be taking this over to my cousin's house and he's going to do a paint correction on it because it's hard to see in the camera, but the paint on this car has like all these swirl marks. Yeah, there you can see right there. I don't know what was going on there, but um, in person it's even worse and uh, the paint really doesn't shine very well. It's hard to tell if maybe this fender has been replaced. I don't know. I can't tell. Um, the title was clean. I pulled up the Carfax on it and there's no registered accidents, but that definitely doesn't mean there hasn't been one because this bumper has popped out a little bit right here. So might've had a rear bumper put on it. Might've had a fender put on it. I don't know. Uh, my cousin said he can help me also because he changed out here's rear bumper and he said these are kind of a pain. So we'll get it on the lift, get that fixed up. I want to take all these stickers off, all that off get it paint corrected. Uh, we're gonna do um, the top treatment on the convertible top, kind of bring some life back into that because it's a little dried out. And then this interior is pretty dirty and pretty nasty as well. These seats are like, this is, that's a metal bar. So all the cushions wore out of the seat. Same with that side. Um, gonna be taking it and getting it reupholstered. They actually ripped the, I guess this was like vinyl over top of that. This is just the underlayment right now, but they ripped it off. It's really common for those to like start sagging and, and tearing away. So they probably gonna end up having that replaced. And then all on the dash, it's hard to see on the camera, but there's like, there's like a film of speckles and like nastiness. I don't know if this car has ever really been clean. All the windows are dirty, nasty inside and out. So this thing really, really needs a deep clean. Um, and then I think preliminary, or yeah, preliminary plans are, we're gonna do suspension, lower it, wheels and tires, and then potentially, I think maybe a front splitter. I don't know. We're just gonna dress it up and, and make, it, make it look decent, you know? So yeah, uh, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, we'll be having some V6 Mustang content. If you don't, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I'll see you on the Integra videos. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna get to working on the inside and maybe try to see if I can get a before and after. All right, so I wanted to get a up close. See how it's like, looks like textured almost. That's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be one solid color. This is just nastiness. So um, I looked online and people recommended this interior cleaner. I don't know if it's gonna do any good. 
but um, I got like some brushes to really get in there and in and around all the bits. Um, I did wipe off the dash. It came pretty clean. Dash is looking pretty good, but all around through here is still pretty nasty. So let's, let's try to get to it. All right, so there's still definitely some spots. I don't know if those are literally like stains or what, but uh, it came out, it's a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of all these panels. Try to see if I can't clean up in there. It's all dirty in there. Just try to get the inside basically just ready for the wife. This is after like wiping it too. I need to get down in there with the brushes. This was just a very, very dirty car. I know I'm not necessarily the best at like interior detailing or exterior detailing. I just don't know how somebody lets it get this, like this bad. Meanwhile, my work truck is probably 10 times worse than this. So anyway, let's roll on. All right, so got uh, the dash and stuff cleaned up a little bit better. But uh, as for the seats and like the floorboards and stuff, I still need to vacuum those. And then uh, these are these cushions or these covers are going to be pulled off. I'm getting a new set of cushions and reupholstered uh, at a local place. So I'm not even going to worry about cleaning the seats. But uh, the only main issue with this car is the convertible top will not go back. Um, I was told to, to check a couple things before I assume the worst. Mainly, this is the button for the convertible top right there. Go ahead and release the top. So it is released. And then key on. Normally you would push this back. See, it, it winds the windows down on both sides and the back windows. That means that, that this button is functioning correctly, but it's not going back at all. Now, apparently the next thing in line is the solenoids for the convertible top. I was told they were somewhere in here. So, how's that held on? Oh, it's held on by a bolt some sort of a push pin oh, there we go um i don't see them was that them right there hold on let me turn my flashlight on Tight over there. Mm -hmm. See, this one's got, I mean, this one's kind of tight too. It's got a little bit of slack in it, more than that one. Alright, so that was a long night. My cousin came over and we went through all the stuff from the button, the relays, uh, the window switches, fuses, everything. And we can't figure out why, but it doesn't work. The relays are working, the switch is working. Something somewhere is wonky though. Uh, at first I was thinking, oh man, I hope it's not the motor. But when you put power directly to the motor, as you saw, the convertible top works. So I uh, ordered some parts and I'm going to... I'm gonna throw some throw some money at it and see if we can't fix it. But other than that, hopefully I'll get this car dressed up and cleaned up for my wife. And um, yeah, hopefully she enjoys it. If not, then it'll be a good flip because I feel like I could definitely make some money on it. So anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.